This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at uranium enrichment. Naturally occurring uranium consists of 99.3% uranium 238 and 0.7% uranium 235 by mass. So here we have the symbols for the two isotopes of uranium. As they are isotopes, they have the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons, which gives them different masses. The production of energy in nuclear reactors is from the nuclear fission of uranium-235, a process which releases energy in the form of heat. So to summarize, naturally occurring uranium consists more of the heavier isotope. However, it's the lighter isotope that can undergo nuclear fission and sustain a chain reaction. Enriched uranium is a type of uranium where the percentage of the lighter isotope has been increased. The difference in mass between uranium-235 and uranium-238 allows the isotopes to be separated, which is known as isotope separation. Isotope separation is a physical process to concentrate or enrich one isotope relative to others. The enrichment processes, that's gaseous diffusion or centrifugation, require the uranium to be in a gaseous form at a relatively low temperature. For this reason, the ore uranium oxide is converted to uranium hexafluoride. Next, we'll compare the bonding and structure of uranium oxide and uranium hexafluoride. Uranium oxide is a crystalline ionic solid with a lattice structure, which you can see here. It has a high melting point of 2865 degrees C. Uranium hexafluoride has a molecular covalent structure. The uranium atom is covalently bonded to six fluorine atoms. This gives it an octahedral geometry with a bond angle of 90 degrees. Uranium hexafluoride is a non-polar molecule. Because of the difference in electronegativity, the bond between uranium and fluorine is a polar bond. However, because of the geometry of the molecule, the bond polarities cancel out and the molecule has no net dipole moment. This means there are weak intermolecular forces between the molecules and it sublimes at 56.5 degrees C. Another reason for this low sublimation point is the negative dipoles on the fluorine atoms. These negative dipoles repel other molecules of uranium hexafluoride. Fluorine only exists as one isotope, therefore the difference in mass between uranium-235 hexafluoride and uranium-238 hexafluoride is due to the different isotopes of uranium. The two different methods for isotope separation are gaseous diffusion and centrifugation. In gaseous diffusion, uranium-235 hexafluoride and uranium-238 hexafluoride will effuse through a porous membrane at different speeds. This is due to Graham's law of effusion, which we looked at in the previous video. The isotope with a higher molar mass will effuse at a slower rate than the isotope with a lower molar mass. The second method of isotope separation is centrifugation. In centrifugation, a gaseous mixture of the two isotopes is separated by centrifugal force in a spinning cylinder. 